Burn, before you, um, I want to, I want to ask you, do you have any questions, anything you want to say or? No, nah, man, like you just took data to a whole different level and you made it look easy, brother. But to me, that, that that's, I think the most important thing that everyone should understand is that what Kevin is doing is not of the norm. And that's what it takes to 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 find that gold nugget that no one's ever doing and so if you guys did not write those filters down you must be insane like i, I that's i don't i don't i don't even mean to be mean or rude but like you literally saw a live example of him reaching out to someone and they, that gentleman could have easily said yeah i have one more two more i might be interested in and we would literally be watching a whole different conversation right now so Kevin, what you're doing, brother, I think is revolutionary. Um, and everyone that's here got tremendous value. Even I got a lot of value. Um, I'm taking it back to the team and writing notes and to see how we can better uh, um, our our side of things to better accommodate, obviously not just you, but the people that you're sharing this information for. So uh, thank you, Kevin, for, for having us. It was an honor and... Um, I love what you're doing, brother. Just keep keep at it. And uh, you you got our support. You know how it is on our end. Um, but I would really make sure you guys hone into what Kevin's going to teach in the next in the next hour. But thank you, Kevin, for having me, brother. I really appreciate it. Of course. Thank you, Burn. But if you guys can do me a huge favor and everybody just like take notes for me. Right. You guys saw how many questions, how many people ask the same kind of questions and it it drags people along. I want to get to I want to get to my point as quickly and efficiently as possible because I want to be respectful of each everyone's time. So guys, if you guys can do me a huge favor, everybody turn your camera on. Like I said, it's like it's like sitting in front of a class. If you're sitting in front of a teacher on the first row, you will pay more attention than if you're sitting all the way in the back behind a fat dude where you can take a nap. Okay. So please turn your cameras on, write your take notes because what I the seller call that I just did, that was a minute and 30 seconds, that could have been a deal. This is how fa it's really fast. Real, real estate goes really quick. So everybody take your pens and papers out. Take notes because I will do a recap. Okay. Put a one in the side chart if you're ready. Perfect. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Okay. Guys, I'm going to do a recap. This is a presentation. This should not take you more than 35 to 40 minutes. And after I'm done, Ryan Vasquez, he will be he will be giving away the list in the chat. Okay. Um, and and when, and also when you see if you ever see burn at any any of the real estate events, please just go up to him and say thank you so much. Um, um Burton does not have to do this. I do not pay him for it. And he could be doing anything else but doing but doing a Zoom you know, especially the day before 4th of July. All right. So this is a recap. Okay. Uh, let's see. So first things first is you want to go to propstream.com forward slash pace. Use Pace's affiliate. I would love to, this is my small, this is small way of me giving back to Pace. Not that he would need another $30 off of you guys, but if you go to propstream.com forward slash pace, and the filter that you want to use is this right here. Can you guys see my, um, can you guys see my uh, mouse moving? This is a filter that I'm using in my, with my team, right? And this filter, it, is, it, it may be subject to change, but we've been using this list for the last uh, two months. So I don't think it's going to change, okay? And take a picture of it. The filter is residential. 10 years or fewer ownership and it's going to include seller carry back and the and seller carry back is the most important thing okay if you're not including seller care back it defeats the whole purpose and you want to export the data right so this you guys you guys you guys see this uh, screen right here it, lo it looks very familiar right take a screenshot uh, I mean not take a screenshot of it um you want to export this into into like a csv file and i for and this is a and the next step i forgot to tell you guys so this might be something that something new that you guys haven't experienced number four is you want to scrape the data 
because when you when you pull all the seller take back here, seller take back is like 90, 90% of it, but, but once in a while you run into things like purchase, money, mortgage. You run into things like commercial. You run into things like land contract slash agreement for sale. You will run into th things like unknown default. All of these you want to delete. All right. Okay, I'm going to, Romina says, I am new and I honestly lost me here. Okay. I, okay. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it again. Go to propstream.com, use this filter. And when you export this list, when you export this, this is a page that you, that you will land, that, that you end, end up at if you export it. Helen, export it to a, a folder. Yes, the marketing list. Export it to the add to list. You export it right here. Okay. And then when you export it, for some odd reason, you get you will get things like purchase money mortgage. What the heck is that? Commercial. What the heck is that? Land contract. What the heck is that? Unknown default. What the heck is that? You only want to work with seller take back. I don't know how these are included in there, but you just want to take, you just want to take, you know, you just, you just want to take them off. And then building or construction loan, you want to take those out. Some of these are like straight up empty. So you want to take those out as well. And then new conventional and FHA loans, you want to take them out. Like you can see, this is guild mortgage. This is a straight up bank financing. We're not looking for bank financing. We're looking for seller financing. Okay, so you want to script the data. And, and then step number five is we're, we're just going to pick one address. And we're going to look up the uh, document number under mortgage and transaction history. Right? Right, so I just pull up Scottsdale, Arizona, 85251. This house was sold on seller finance, according to PropStream. And I'm going to take this document number and export it. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm going to take this document number and put it onto the Maricopa County Recorder's website. Okay? Yes, um, Marianne, it means delete. Well, yeah, when you scrape the data, delete them. All right, document number. You want to take this document number. And um, so, so, so the document number is 2023.600.600347. You want to take this document number and put it right here. So 2023.600.347. And then you want to put the, under document code, you want to put mortgage. Everything else can stay blank. The reason why you want to go to the Mer the county recorder's website is because you want to find the previous homeowner's information. You will not be able to find the previous homeowner's information on PropStream. Okay, so once you click on search, this is the website. This is a website that that it will take you to. This looks very familiar because we just did this about 20 minutes ago. And you want to download the deed of trust. The reason why we want to download the deed of trust is because it has the information we need, which is the beneficiary's name of the beneficiary, right? So the only two information you need from the, uh, from the, uh, from the deed of trust is the name of the beneficiary and the beneficiary's mailing address. Those are the two only things you need and everything else you can you, you can, you can dis, dis, disregard. Right? So beneficiary, which is a seller, right? So we, we, we've addressed that. The beneficiary is a previous seller and the beneficiary's mailing address is previous seller's mailing address. 
in this case, this house was sold on seller finance through an LLC. This is something that we, that we did not go over earlier is that this house was sold on seller finance through an LLC called LLC. So now we have to go find the owners of those LLC. Because in order for you to, in, the information that you need to skip trace is you need their first and last name and their mailing address, right? So we already got, uh, according to the, according to the deed of trust, we have this LLC and the beneficiary's mailing address, which is four here in Phoenix, Arizona, a five zero one eight. Um, so okay, now we now we want to find the owners of the LLC by going to opencorporates.com, and then opencorporates.com you will be you will be able to find the owners of the LLC. So in this case, LLC. In this case. LLC, it's owned by and the and the beneficiary and their mailing address matches the beneficiary's mailing address. And this is completely free. So the first thing is you want so first thing is you want to go to, you know, you want to go to the uh, county records office to take the uh, to find the owner, the previous seller, and if it's owned by an LLC, you need to go to open corporates to figure out the who to figure out who owns the LLC. And number three is you need to go to forewarn and see if they have any uh, and to and to find their phone numbers, right? So in this case, we're gonna take his we're gonna take his first and last name and his state and zip code. So city of Phoenix, Arizona, eight five zero one eight. And then I'm gonna click on search. And once you click on search, you will be able to find 11 phone numbers associated with. And so, and the reason why there's more than one is because he probably had more than one phone number throughout his life. So I'm going to click on 11. And, th and this will be the first one, right? So you just found his phone number after all that work. Right, and I can, and eighty five percent of the time, the first phone number is 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 the correct phone number. And as you just saw, to find the phone numbers of one address on the list, it will take you about four to five minutes on average. It does require a lot of work. Right, you you have to find you have to find the you have to find the seller, you have to find their mailing address, you have to find their. Um, the, who owns the LLC, and then you have to find their phone number. So each house will take you uh, roughly around four to five minutes. But we do have a problem here. And the problem here is that the list that I'll be giving you today does not come with any phone numbers. This, it just comes with addresses. Because my team spent a lot of time and energy into finding the phone numbers and we haven't even gone to nationwide yet. You will have to do the work to find the phone numbers to these addresses, which I just taught you for free. And on the list that I'll be giving you today, there are, there are about 17,000 houses on the list and more will be added going forward as I update these, right? So the list that I'll be giving you today, it's gonna start in Maricopa County, Yuma County, Pima County, Pinal County, which is Arizona, Clark County, Las Vegas, Nevada, Utah, counties in Utah, counties in Texas, counties in Florida, counties in California, and counties in Washington state. So one of the best ways for you to actually find these homeowners is to not do is is not to do it yourself, right? Because this is such a low level task. This is such a low level task that you do not want to be the one doing this list, which is the reason why I have my VAJ that does this for me. So all that process that I just showed you guys, I have my VAJ do it. And it takes him about 15, uh, it takes in one hour at any given time, he can do about 15, 15 addresses. Okay. 
So like, let me put this into perspe perspective of how much work this will take you because it is a lot of work. There's 17,000 addresses on the list that I'll give you today. 15 addresses per hour. For you to get the phone numbers for, it's going to take you 1,100 hours. And I don't know about you, but I probably wouldn't be a good fit to spend 1,100 hours on to find the phone numbers. Even though I taught you for free. So my 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 VA, I pay him about four dollars an hour, which is pretty standard. So if I were to if I were to say eleven eleven hundred thirty three hours and times by four, this list alone, just to find the homeowner's information, it will cost you probably forty five hundred bucks. Not include, and this does not even include any time to training them, and constantly updating the list. But I'm curious, I don't, would, what if somebody were to actually pull the correct number for you, would anybody be interested in calling this list? I can tell you right now, guys, I want to give you the, stat I want to give you the statistics. I want to give you the statistic. I had 909 people register, register for a free Zoom. That I'm that I'm doing for completely free. 909, 9, 909 people registered. And how many people are on the Zoom? 316 people. Right. That means only 34% of the people literally showed up to the Zoom that I'm completely doing for free. And I can I can I will bet money. That even though I taught everything, I taught you guys how to do this for free, 90, 90, 95% of the 315 people in the Zoom will not go out and actually find these phone numbers. Does anybody disagree with me? I mean, 60% of the people right off the bat did not even show up. And only 33% of the people showed up, which is good number industry-wise. It's a phenomenal number, right? Like, you know, if you usually, if you can have 12% 12 12 of the people to show up, that is a really good show rate. Um, and we got, and we killed it. We knocked it out of the park with 33%, right? But I can tell you right now that the people on the Zoom, you guys, 95% of you will, 95% of you guys will not go and find these phone numbers. So here's, but here's another problem. And I, and I saw this, and I saw this earlier comment. I saw this comment earlier is who do I give this list out to? And how do I not saturate a, such a small list like this? Right? Like at the end of the day, it is a big list, but if you really think about how many people will be calling this list, possibly, this is a very, very small list. So I have to be very careful. Like, I mean, you guys look at you guys look at the sub two zoom that I did, right? Sub no equity sub two deals. I could have eased, I could have not, I could have not shared that list and I could have done two or three deals by myself every single, every single week. I decided to give it out. My, uh, Carolyn and Myron, they do seven hundred thousand dollars in assignment fee. AJ did uh AJ made 90 grand as a 19 year old. I did 90 deals in 2023. I'm giving this list out completely for free. But I have to be very careful of if I were to skip trace these phone numbers, how, how am I going to distribute this list? I want to show you how powerful this list is. Like I said earlier, last Friday, no, last Monday, live seller call I made to June 24, 2024. I lock up a seller finance deal live in Scottsdale in front of 80 plus people live on the Zoom. And mind you, this was my very first phone call of the day. Has Was anybody in that live Zoom? Put like me in the side chat. Jay was there. Kay was there. Noam was there. Fatu, Ray, Doug, Aisha. You guys watched me lock up a seller. I didn't, okay, I didn't lock up the seller finance deal live on the spot. 
but I set up an appointment and th later that day I went to, I, I, I went under contract to buy that house on seller finance here in Scottsdale, 7.5% down, 5% interest rate, 10 year balloon and 30 year term. And that was live on the zoom. My very first phone call of the day here in Scottsdale, Arizona. And you guys can watch that zoom call. You guys can watch that phone call on my YouTube channel. Or you guys can go watch that uh, call on my on the sub two vault or my Facebook page or my or my Facebook page. So the second video is is a field day that I had when I was last Saturday. I had Birdie and Stephanie fly her kids out, sub two students. Birdie and Stephanie, they're sub two students, and I had them fly their kids out from South Carolina and New Jersey, and we spent the first half of the day checking out the field, check, checking out the projects that I have going on here in Phoenix. And the second half of the day, we were making cold calls to the seller finance list. And Connor, who is 12 years old, has never made a cold call. He goes, I, I've never made a cold call. I don't know what to say. And I said, you know what, Connor, this is what you say. Hi, my name is Connor. I work for my dad during the summer. And I wanted to give you a call because it looks like you sold your house on 123 Main Street on Seller Finance two years ago. Are you looking to sell more houses on Seller Finance? If so, I can have my dad give you a call. That was literally the script that I told Connor to say. And like, guys, this is probably the easiest list to call. Right. So I, I know a lot of my, I know a lot of at the owner's club, I had a lot of parents come, come up to me and say, I want, my, I want my kids to be like you when I grow up. Are you, well, you got, they got to, they got to start getting on the phone. Right. They got to start getting on the phone so one way or another. And we've actually gotten calls, calls back where the homeowners, like homeowners, homeowner and I are working together, possibly. Right. And I can tell you guys, if you guys have kids, you guys, the seller finance list is where, is, is, is the list that you want your kids to be calling. You do not want your kids to be calling foreclosure lists and getting cussed out, nor do you want your seller, nor, nor do you want your kids to be calling sub two list and saying, hey, this is how you overcome DTI, right? This is, this is probably the easiest list to call. And guys, and here's a mistake that I made in my real estate career that I hate to admit was that I was way too focused on sub two deals over seller finance deals. And the reason being is that in 2023, I did 90 sub two deals. Nobody, I don't think anybody has ever even, did, came even close to 90 sub two deals. And, th and this is coming from personal experience. I have yet to get a second deal from the same seller when I did a sub two deals with, with that seller because they don't have a second house. But seller finance sellers, on average, on average, when I, when I call the seller finance sellers that have already sold their houses on seller finance, they on average have seven to 10 houses. And as we are speaking, I am currently working on second house with the same seller from previous seller finance deals, right? Tom, I, I, know, I know I bring up Tom a lot. I'm working on a second second house from him on seller finance, like two months after the fact that I've closed closed the first one first one with him. Okay. So let's just say everybody in here's everybody's goal in here is to make passive income through real estate cash flow, which I have somewhat have accomplished. And and I'm gonna come up with a number where the goal is ten thousand dollars a month. Each house, on average, cash flow is five hundred bucks a month. If you do the math, it only it only really comes down to twenty houses. If you were to achieve this, if you were to buy twenty houses, utilizing sub two, you have to chase twenty different sellers, right? And in, in a sub two, if you're if you're running your business around sub two. You have to it's, you have to get another deal after another deal after another deal after another deal. Like you're like chasing for the next deal, which I did for the last eighteen months. So I'm not I'm not saying anything bad about it, but I mean that's just reality. If you're if you're only looking for, to buy twenty houses and, and you and you want to call it a day, you you want to retire. 
that means you would only need two to three sellers to hit that goal. Right, guys, does this kind of, does this math make sense? Does this girl math make sense? Because I want to make sure everybody understands what, what, what I'm talking about is, guys, if you can buy the entire portfolio on seller finance from one seller, you only really need a few sellers in your life to, to have a good relationship with. They already built us, they already built their entire portfolio for you the next, for the last 30 to 40 years. And now you're, now you're just buying the entire portfolio, entire portfolio from them. And as long as you are paying the mortgage on time, I guarantee you they will sell seller finance you their entire portfolio. And you cannot tell me out of the 17,000 addresses that I'll be giving you today, you cannot find two to three sellers to sell you their entire portfolio. Seller finance, it's, it's the fastest way to scale your real estate portfolio. Definitely not Burr. Sub two, somewhat faster than Burr, in my opinion. I, I mean, I built my portfolio on sub, sub two, so I know, and I'm speaking from personal experience. Fix and flip and wholesale, that's not going to build your portfolio. Like I said, seller finance is probably the most difficult list to get the phone numbers of because of the amount of, of work it takes. But once you're once you actually have the phone number, easiest list to call. And I would almost say that getting the list is 5% of the work and getting the phone number is the other 95% of the work. And I can tell you right now, based on the based on the, based on the fact that 66% of the people didn't even show up to to my free Zoom that I'm doing, 95% of you guys will not even go and do the work to find the phone numbers. I'm sorry. I I just I, I'm just being truly transparent. There's no way that any of you guys will actually go and find the phone numbers of these homeowners. Ivan says, Kevin, I just came across a seller that has 15 homes and he's tired of being a landlord. Perfect. Those are the people that you need in your life. And you only need two or three of those sellers in your life, guys. Guys, I've been personally calling this list on my own for the last three weeks, only two to three hours a day. And I'm under contract for three seller finance deals here in Arizona, which is the toughest real, real estate market in the country. I've been calling for two to three hours every single day for the last three weeks. And that, and that's all I, that's only two to three hours a day. And I can tell you right now, not a single seller told me to stop calling because they were getting bombarded with phone calls. When I, when I called guys, you guys, if you guys were on the zoom call, if you guys hope you hope you didn't come late, but when I called what, number one, he did not know who I was. So I wasn't, this was not scripted. Nor did he, nor did he ever, nor did he tell me to stop calling. As I'm making these phone calls, nobody else is calling. I'm the only one calling. And if, and guys, and if you want to get in on this list, this is literally the perfect time. There's not a single person talking about this list, let alone calling it. You know what people say? Guys, if you are, if you guys want to go find houses on seller finance, you need to go find, you, you need to go find houses that are free and clear. And I'm like, that is the stupidest thing a person can say. You do realize that 65% of the houses are in America are owned free and clear. So you're telling me you're gonna you're gonna call 120 million dollars, 120 million houses. Good luck with that. You want to go after people that already sold it on seller finance and say, hey, do you want to do it again? Yes or no? If if not, boom, okay. That phone call was one minute and uh, six seconds. And that's how quickly I transitioned, right? And even these homeowners, they know what they want. These homeowners know, hey, I want 5% down, 7% interest rate, 10-year balloon, 30-year term. I'm like, okay, is that is that the best you can do? Yes, it is. Okay, perfect. That's not a good fit for me. Let me move on to something else. Guys, which is the reason why I'll be hosting my very first in-person in workshop here in Scottsdale. And in order for me to not saturate this list, I'm only giving away the skip trace seller finance list that my team has been working on for the last two to three months for only the attendees. 
my team and I were thinking about it before we got we, 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 uh, a couple of days before we hopped on the Zoom call. And I, and I said, you know what? I'm just going to give away this, you know, skip trade seller finance with, with the phone numbers. I'm just going to give it away for free. And, and they're like, God, well, Kevin, we just spent like a month and a half to find, to skip trace 20, 2,300 houses. You're going to give away that list for free. So, and, and they said this list and one of the, and only way for me to not saturate this list is for me to just have put a barrier of entry to this, to this list. So guys, I, I will be giving away the seller skip trace seller finance list for people that attend the workshop here in Scottsdale. And the, and the, and the, and the seller finance list plus the phone numbers, we're going to start in Arizona, Nevada, Texas, Florida, Utah, California, Colorado, North and South Carolina and Washington. And my goal is to be, my goal is to have a small group of people that come to the workshop to start gobbling up seller finance deals. And I want, I want people to think, where are they getting these seller finance lists from? And everybody will need to sign, everybody that comes to the workshop and get the list will have to sign NDA. So if you're trying to cheat the system and say, I'm going to have my, I'm going to just get it from somebody else. No, they will sign NDA and I will, I will make sure no, this list does not leak out. This will be a protected group of people that only has this exclusive list. So as I promised, I will give you, for everybody that, that came to the Zoom today, I will give everybody the Zoom today, everybody the list today, the 17,000 addresses. And this is what it, this is what it would look like. Addresses, city, loan, date, all that stuff. But you will have to put in the work to find the mailing address, the owners of the LLC, and their phone number, which I already taught you for free. But for people that do come to the workshop, this is a list that you will, that you are going to get. It's going to have all of these address, city, loan date, lender, sales amount, loan balance. It, I will also give you the mailing address so that you can start sending direct mails on top of who calling them with, with their phone numbers. Okay. And my team will be working on it for the next third however many days we want to, we want to have a nationwide seller finance list. And I only want a small group of people to have this, have access to this list. So guys, if you're not serious about this, please don't take somebody else's spot. Obviously the list is not the only thing you're going to get at the workshop. So then what else is going to be included at the workshop on top of the skip trade seller finance list? I'm coming up with a course next month. And I'll be giving away my creative finance course that'll be selling for $497. It will be free for everybody that comes to the workshop. The course itself will have over 150 hours of contents on how to get, get your very first creative finance deal in 30 days. And I have done over 150 plus creative finance deals in the last 24 months. So I feel like I have the credibility, credibility to speak on this topic. $497 worth of value. You guys will get this for free for anybody that comes to the workshop. For, for everyone that comes to the workshop, I will have my personal transaction coordinator give you, I will have, I will have her personally handle all your uh, transaction. So my transaction coordinator has agreed to do one free TC service for free. And my transaction coordinator charges $1,500. And she has handled every single one of my files. Guys, I will give you information about the workshop later, you know, later in the Zoom. Third thing that will be included in the workshop, four-week pass split training. Pass split will be offering a four-week seminar on how to start your very first pass split. This is not a product even out for the general public, but if you sign up for this workshop, this will be completely free, $497 worth of value. Fourth thing, my partner would, my partner will be giving away her midterm rental course that for, that is worth $1,700 completely for free. 
not only that, my partner will teach you how to rent your house on midterm rental and get double the regular, regular long-term rental income. So guys, like if you, if you can rent your house for $2,300 a month, she will teach you how to rent your house for four to forty five hundred to five thousand dollars a month, and I have numbers to back it up. If you guys want, if you guys want to see my P and Ls, I'll be happy to show you my P and Ls and how much all of our houses are being rented on midterm rental. Seventy seventeen hundred dollars worth of value for free. You, we will also get ninety minutes of Q and A session with Sean Saint Clair. He's in a real estate attorney that solely specializes in creative finance. I will have him speak at the workshop for ninety minutes. And he, Sean St. Clair has decided, has agreed to do this completely for free. But I said, you know what? I will be donating $3,500 to his missionary group in Malawi. This is, this will completely be free as well. And guys, I have, I mean, we're not done yet, right? One month of free props for everyone that comes to the workshop, $97 worth of value. I am not even allowed to talk about this free prop stream in the, in the general public because they have never given this offer to anybody else but me. Everybody, everybody that asks for the asks for free uh free prop stream, the most that they get is a seven day trial. And prop stream has this, has has been generous to give give all the attendees at the workshop one month of free prop stream. Completely for free, ninety-seven dollars worth of value, and we still have more. At the workshop, we will have two secret guest speakers. I am not allowed to announce who they are just yet, but I can tell you right now, just just these two guest speakers will be worth coming to the workshop for. Anybody interested in the workshop? Pace and Jamil, I can tell, I mean, I can get Pace and Jamil like without, without even having to ask. So if I were to add this all up, I value nationwide seller finance list at $9,500. My creative finance course at $497. One free transaction coordinator at 1500 bucks. Four week pass of the training for $497. Midterm rental course for $1,700, completely for free. 90-minute Q&A session with Sean St. Clair, $3,500. One month of free prop stream, $97. And two secret guest speakers. And if I were to put a price tag on this, I think it's, I think it's way more than $17,000. But I'm just going to put it at $17,000 worth in value. Um, there are limited spots. But but obviously this workshop will not be free. It will be paid, but it is a it is a very reasonable price. It will be a one time payment of two thousand nine hundred and ninety seven dollars. And guys, when I say this, when I say this workshop will sell out, this workshop will sell out. The venue that we're looking at here in here in Scottsdale, Scottsdale, it can only seat about 45 to 50 people. And before I did the Zoom, I already did a pre-launch and I had 11 people sign up. Capo, are you in here? Capo, you're in here. Capo, Capo is one of the people that signed earlier. Capo, you, you signed up, right? Yeah, I did. Guys, when I say I did a pre-launch, I, I, I truly mean I, I did a pre-launch. And I will, I have sold 11 out of the 45 spots. And I don't know if I'm going to be opening it up just because I want my goal, my vision is to have small group of investors to start gobbling up seller finance deals from this list before this list does get saturated. So if you guys are interested in signing up for the workshop, please go to creativefinanceworkshop.com. And guys, I keep saying this, and I know I will get a DM later 
later in the day and say, hey, Kevin, this is this spot's full. Guys, this list, it will get saturated. This seller finance list will get saturated eventually. And I can tell you right now, you want, Monica says, can't access it. Did we break, did we break the, okay. Jay says he can access it. Guys, Oscar, let me know if, if it breaks. But guys, this list works as you guys have seen it. I've done it live in front of 320, 295 people. And this workshop will get, I mean, this this seller finance will eventually get saturated. But you, I'm telling you right now, you want to get in before it does. Because the next workshop that I will be doing is six months from now. And when you, and the price will go up six months from now to $5,000. And that list will have been run through. Thank you, Lorraine. I was, for the th guys, for the last three and a half years, I've never, I've never sold anything for money. The workshop that I did yesterday, last Saturday, I mean, sorry, the field day that I did with Birdie and Stephanie's kids, I did not pay, I did not pay for, I mean, they did not have to pay a single penny, nor did they have to pay for the Airbnb that they stayed. stayed. And I've been just literally giving everything for the last three and a half years because I told myself that if I'm going to ever take somebody's money, that I'm going to way over deliver. I'm going to make it exceptional. And I'm going to way over deliver. David Lamorte, he's, he's, he's my private money lender. Every single one of my private money lender, David, Alvin, David's in here. Alvin's in here. Um, Kevin, Few, like all my private money lenders. One thing I tell them is, hey guys, you guys will be my private money lenders. You, you guys, the, the return that you, the return that you guys will get is twelve percent. But I promise you, but I promise you, twelve percent is the least that you're gonna get. And I have almost flew every single one of my private money lenders here to Phoenix out of my own pocket. I spent my own money out of my assignment fee to fly them out to Phoenix and put them in a hotel or a Airbnb. And I spent a full weekend with them and help make sure, making sure that they get the value that they need. Right. So this is, this is the reason why, why, why I wanted, I put a lot of pressure on the zoom is because you know what, if I'm going to be taking somebody's money, I will make sure over deliver. And this was three and a half years of just waiting and waiting and waiting and giving and giving and giving. And this is, this is literally like what it all came down to. So, um, 45 to 50 spots, 11 people already, already registered. Marisol. Thank you, Marisol. Another, another one of my private money lenders. And matter of fact, Marisol, you weren't in the Zoom when I did the Zoom with all my private money lenders, or, or, or at least I don't think I saw you. The money that I'll be making from this uh, workshop, I'll be private. I'll be flying every single one of my private money lenders to Phoenix, all four, 14, 15 of them, out of out of the proceeds from this workshop, because I want to meet each and meet each individual and spend some quality time with them. So. Um, Mike says, my wife just asked, is he upset? Uh, I'm not upset. I'm just, it just feels like breath of fresh air just because I've been giving and doing everything for free. Like the last, the 18, the meetup that I had in Arizona every Saturday, 18 months, completely for free. Helped all these people. I helped 64 people do their first deal. Obviously we partnered with it completely for free. So, so the no equity sub two deals completely for free. Right. So guys, when I, when I say that, when I say that I'm truly, that I will over deliver at the workshop, I, I promise you I will over deliver. So, um, Diego says I was there. So guys, 
creativefinanceworkshop.com. Sign up. Mar Mar Marcia says one person, yeah, it's $3,000 per person. It's per chair. In a perfect world, what I want to do is everybody pay for a workshop and they bring their plus one so they can split the cost. But there's literally like 45 to 50 chairs. So um, guys, I will be giving away um, the list in the next 10 minutes, but does anybody have any questions about the workshop? Can you, can you, just, can you guys just put it in the side chat, please? I know now you have your question answered. I know you have your hands up, but can you please, um, any questions about the workshop? Roland says now there's at least 12 people registered. Um, yeah, I, 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 I can tell you right now, there's at least 12 people registered, 11 people registered before this. And I'm pretty sure that at least one more person registered out of the 300 people on the zoom. Guys, if you guys have any, any questions regarding the workshop, do you guys, is, 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 am I missing something? Like, should I add a couple couple things more? Mar Mar Marianne says, sounds fabulous. No, sounds immaculate. Recommended hotel. Um, we'll send out an email after this. Um, yes, you will have to fly over. Yeah, I, Alex, you're not my Alex, you're not my private money lender, so I will not be paying for your flight. Alvin, Marisol, David, I will, I will, I will pay for your guys' flight. Uh, Lynn, Lynn says, "Can I PML the workshop?" Um, I don't know what that means. Alvin, Marisol, David, Perez. Ryan, Justin, Sarah, Maricela Hernandez, Kevin Wen. I mean that that Chuck, Calvin, every one of my private money lenders will get a free flight. And I will pay for all my private money lenders, I will pay for your flight. The workshop itself is August 2nd and August 3rd. Andrea says, how can I be your PML? Um, there's a waiting list, Andrea. There's a wait list of people that, um, that, wants, to be, that wants to be my PML. Khadija, one of my private money lenders that I have already paid off. I don't even have her money anymore. Khadija in here, I don't know if she's in here. She's probably not in here. She's busy with her work. Khadija, who I already paid her off two months ago, she will be flying in out of my pocket. Juan says, would you sell or finance the cost? No, but Juan, I, I believe a firm might be attached to the to, to the workshop. Um, so you might be able to find it there. Uh, you might be able to finance the whatever. Uh, Mary's coming. Um, where's, where's, I want to talk to one of my private money lenders. Where's Alvin? Actually, Alvin, I just, I just hung out with Alvin, like not too long ago. Alvin? I'm here. What's up? Yeah, man. Are you excited to come out to Phoenix again? Hell yeah. I'm ready to go. My wife says, uh, you know, I've got to leave her with the kids for another two, three days, but she said for Kevin, I'll do it. Perfect. Perfect. <laughs> I appreciate you, Alvin. I appreciate you. Yeah. I told you, this is this is the least that you're going to get. We're going to do way more than this. Of course. Kevin uh, is the man. If you're looking for a borrower, he's the man. <laughs> I guess I'm the man. All right, the thank legend. you, Kevin. Oops. Oh, sorry. I accidentally, I, asked, I accidentally asked you to unmute. Don't, no need to unmute. Um, uh... I, I appreciate everything you're offering, Kevin. I can't make it, but sounds awesome. Yes. Guys, th there will be a second workshop that's six months away. Um, do you sell Zooms or recordings? Time conflict. I have largest table tennis event. I have been working a year for. Um, Sherry, unfortunately, um, at the moment, 
Um, actually, I I don't haven't really thought about doing a virtual event. Sure. Actually, let me ask you to unmute. Let me actually have a conversation with you because I I have never actually thought about this. Hi, Sherry. Yeah, what's up? Can you, you see uh, me? Yes, I can see you. Okay. Are you asking to do a uh, like a virtual event because you're not able to make physically make it here to make it here to Phoenix? Yeah. Uh, if if you really follow me, because I I you know I belong to one of the nonprofit. We do the largest uh, table tennis, and for Zoom, you can. You can record it, become one of your uh, your course later on. You know that that can accommodate. You know people like us cannot make it. You know. Um. Okay. So uh, if if I were to do a virtual Zoom, what what's the price you would pay? Because I I don't I don't want to give away the list to 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 a virtual audience. All the recording. What well, is Zoom? <laughs> I don't know. You know the price. Um, Irma says two thousand. I feel like two thousand might be a little too high. Yeah, that's a little bit too high. It's, uh, like that's a totally I'm... different experience. Right. If I were to do a virtual Zoom, I I think I would do like four ninety seven, and you just get the Zoom. Okay. Only get a Zoom and uh, uh, and the the training. Everything is included, right? Yes. Everything else will be included. Okay. Yeah, I'll, I'll definitely go for that because I really wanted to go and just this commitment. I've been doing this table tennis things already like 12 years. I'm the one of the uh, founder, you know, I cannot just let go. That will be looking weird, you know? I know, I know. Okay, I, I'm, I want to show, show, show hands in the, in the side chat. If I were to do a virtual, virtual option, 497. And you just get access to the Zooms. I'll totally go for it. You guys will totally go for it. Um, I I'm still on the fence about doing a virtual one. I I want it to be in person, but um. Okay. All right. Hey, Oscar. Let me let me see. Let me ask Oscar if we can add that right now. Oscar. Hey, I'm right here. Hey, um, how much work, how much more work would it take if you were to add a virtual um ticket to the to the to the event right now? Um we could possibly add a ticket and then we just have to figure out all the all the back end of getting the team there recorded with high quality and all that stuff. So I can start working on that, but um I can probably add the virtual option maybe in a couple hours in the in the same website. Okay. Uh, how how long would that take? Um, let me rush it real quick and give me maybe an hour. No, we I, we got to do it in the next two minutes. How can we do okay. it? Okay, I got you. In two minutes. <laughs> All right. Give me. Give me. Three minutes. I can sell you the five hundred now. No, no, we, we, really we need we need to. Part of it. No, no. Um, <laughs> okay, so we'll do it. We'll do a virtual event. I guys, I will say the virtual is not going to include the list. The virtual event will not include the list. The virtual. That's fair. Okay, so so let me yeah let me let me see how guys like Sherry like you're making me come up with this offer on the spot. Can you just give us a, a list for my region like California? <laughs> no, no, it, it it just takes too much takes too much work. I mean, you saw how much how much work it takes behind the scenes. I know, I know, I know totally. I'm a realtor too. I totally understand that. Okay, then let's. All right, then let's do this. Four ninety seven. I'll 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 add the virtual just for you, Sherry, because I I care about oh you. Oh my and, god! And you I will have to. You. 
Thank you will have to take me to Korean barbecue when I go to California. I, I take you to barbecue every day when you come here. <laughs> All right, perfect, perfect. Um, the, so the in person is is still going to be the same. The virtual one will be four ninety seven, and everybody and you will get the you will, you will get every single thing except the work except the list. Okay, I want to be very clear. Clear, this is re being recorded. Everything. Everything will be um um so four ninety seven. Let's make another ticket for that. Lynn, you will get the list today. That you will get the seller finance list. Um. Yeah, you will get the seller so finance. I'll list be today. paying uh, over the website, or I I just uh, sell you the money. Website. Okay. It's the website link right here. Uh, okay, create a finance workshop. Okay, I'll go there. Like two two hours later? No, Oscar said three minutes. So we got 37 seconds left. Anybody have any questions about the... Thank you. Anything for you, Sherry? I hope you, I hope you win that tabletop tennis. <laughs> I'm the organizer. <laughs> well, if you don't, then um, um, I I would be happy. Will there be limited amount for the virtual? Uh, I mean, virtual you can have unlimited people. You can have a million people on the, if it's a virtual event. And you can upsell it. You can put it on under your course later on. Just sell that. Appreciate um, it. Virtual is live now on the website. Okay. All right, guys, the virtual workshop is now live for $497. Also, can you just make sure that the list would not be included? Yeah, yeah, I got it. Like, write it write it down, like, pe let people know. Alvin says, is the workshop... Wait, where's Alvin? Um, Alvin, I just saw your comment. Where did it go? Did you delete it? Mistake, okay. At the workshop, we will be calling the seller finance list. That, that's when we're gonna be revealing it. Uh, Isa says, will it be recording uh, for virtual? Yeah, but it won't be, yeah. So if you miss some parts of the virtual event, uh, we will e we'll email you the, we'll send you the list, uh, list back. We'll, we'll send you the recording of it. Hey Ryan, hey Ryan Vasquez, can we put the uh, can we put the uh, list today? List Ryan Vasquez is is he on here? Yeah. Yep. Can I'll we put, put the list the down in down in the chat? Yeah. All right. Thank you guys so much because for sticking by. I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna stop the chat real quick. Um. I don't know how to. Stop the chat. Oops. So good. I can put it in there multiple times. Okay. Oscar, um, share says there's not $497 on the website link. Oh, we gotta, we gotta make, we gotta make sure to take off the TC because it wouldn't make sense for um, TC will also not, will not be included. Sorry, guys. All right. So everybody, when you go to checkout, um, just select. There's going to be two options on the little checkout form. After you fill out your information, and on the next page, it will allow you to choose the physical event or the virtual event. So guys, this is how you choose. You got you guys you guys can do either in person or virtual. All right, so do not so you want to do virtual. Sherry, do you see it? Yes. Okay. Everybody say thank you, Sherry. I hope you win the table tennis match. So guys, the virtual event is up for $497.
it would not. Now it says can't open up the list. It's probably because there's so many people like hovering around it. I'll double so, check it too. Yeah. Yeah, no, it, it opened up for me. So you guys should be able to to get in there. It just look it's taking a little bit to load. Okay. Yeah, I got it says some tools might be un unavailable due to due to heavy traffic in this file. So uh, guys, please be patient. All right, for everybody that said um, that they want to come to the workshop, um, Brandon says, will the virtual event be recorded and given to us? Yes. If you pay for the virtual event, it will be recorded and we will email it, we will email it to the only for the people that pay for the virtual event. That's the only way, that's the, that's the only fair way. There's no reason for you to put both, really. Thank you, Marianne, for, for, for coming to the Zoom. All right. Please repost the list. Yeah, I mean, give it. Uh, will you JV with? Then it says, will you JV with my first seller finance deal? 100%. Andrew says, checking flights now. Do you think there might be any pre or post events activities? Yeah, so on, on, the, on the first day, I'm, I'm, I'm taking all my private money lenders to dinner. So you guys can do whatever you guys want. <laughs> um, no, but, but we'll, we'll do some events together for sure. Thank you guys. Guys, the virtual workshop is live. I don't even know how many spots we have on the on the in-person in, in event. I, I have to check. AJ, um, DM me, uh, text me. We'll hop on a phone call after this. John says Google list wouldn't open. Let maybe just bog down. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, there's, I mean, guys, we had 321 people just, you know, going after the list. Who am I going to see in the in, in person event? I'm curious. Alvin, Matthew. Monica. Oh my gosh. Marcia. Kaipo, I'll see you there. Oh, the, the list can be emailed to you in about a week. <laughs> the only person at the, the only person, the only other person that does this is Ron Legrand. Yeah. Okay. Um, I can open the list, but I don't see any counties from California. Terry, um, I'll, I'll check out. I'll check with my team on that. There's, it should be on there. Yeah, guys, we're we're still um, like, PropStream has limits for things of how many we can pull. So the list will be continuously updated, like as we're going through, you know, to get this as a nationwide list. Okay, I see. I didn't know that. Um, is there a payment option? I'm I'm lightweight overextended right now. Um Asia, uh I don't know. Hey Oscar, uh, are there any payment options, Oscar? Uh, not at the moment. Okay, perfect. That's fine. Um All right. I mean, I've been with you guys for the last hour and 55 minutes. What, what, what was your favorite part about the Zoom? Did you guys like it when I when I called 
um, what was his name? Um, Gregory or something. I, did you guys like it when I called him live on the spot just to tell you that Clifton? Did Clifton. Like called Clifton on, on the spot and I, and I said, I literally showed you how powerful this is. All right. If the list will continue to be updated, should we still make a copy? Um, we will be updated on the Google spreadsheet. Live calls are the best. I've been trying to find one for a year with this. Yeah, man, definitely be be re be rewatching. Call was cool, but the info in general was lit. I'm I'm surprised that Burton from PropStream was surprised to know to how this works. I mean, he works he works at PropStream, and he was like, "Dude, this is like mind opening for me." Right, so four one was an amazing insight. What well, guys? Give me, give me like one, one or two more things that two, two, two things that you that you guys learned that that's that you guys will start implementing. Alvin says I crash prop stream. That's awesome. That's the goal. Lizanne says, "Will you keep doing the Zoom?" Um, yes, I will. I'll be doing the Zoom for people that come to the virtual and in person workshop. It's going to be a tight, tight group of people. Tight group of people. Um, I missed, okay, the chat's going so fast. I had to slow, show up late to the Zoom. Would there be recording sent out? Um, maybe, maybe not. I don't know. Yovana says, learn to look for the prior seller list instead of Spire. Looking up LLC and county recorder office. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. How to find seller, how to find sellers willing to do seller finance and then how to track these people down prices. Tell me how to fish. Guys, I'm telling you, this list is going to get so saturated in the next six months. You guys, I, I, I as, a to as a token of my appreciation, I want to I want to say that, number one, thank you so much for hopping on the Zoom and actually believing in me that I will not be wasting your two hours of your time. Um, but I can tell you, if you're, if you're in the workshop and you and I are calling the seller finance list, you like it will be a small group of us, like you know, 45 to 50 people just gobbling up seller finance deals. Uh Ch Ch Chin Mei says, such an easy script to say to the previous sellers. Perf yeah, it's it's literally the a 12-year-old can do it. He literally said, Hey, I'm looking, I'm working for my dad for the summer. I'm looking to I saw that you sold your house on seller finance. Are you looking to sell more? Like, if so, I'll have my dad give you a call. Like, that's the list. Uh, let me see. I learned the prop stream filters for seller finance. Love the teenage le learning so young. Oh, by the way, um, for anybody that attends the work virtual workshop or the or in person workshop, if you guys have any kids that you guys want me to like spend that you guys want them to spend some field days with me, um, shoot me a DM. Right. Um, it, it you they. They will have to pay for another ticket for the workshop, but like two weeks later after the workshop, if you if you guys come to the virtual workshop uh, or in-person workshop, I'll, I'll, you guys can fly your kids out. And um, if we have schedule, I'll, I'll have, I'll, I'll spend some weekends with your kids and we'll call, we'll call the seller finance list. How old will the kids have to be? Middle school and high school, no elementary. Nineteen's okay, nineteen's okay, but definitely not older than me. Like middle school and high school, but under the age of like twenty three. Yeah, Fatou says college kids. Yeah, if you have college kids, yeah, like I'll spend some. I, I mean, so guys, I want to be very upfront. The virtual workshop or in in person workshop, it will be paid. But if you guys are part of the group, and you guys want your kids like at a different date to come here to come to Phoenix. And spend some time with me. That will be free. Uh, Ethan says I'll be making a lot of calls for my mom. There you go, Ethan. Will Will the virtual event include everything besides the skip trace list and TC service? I think so. I don't. I don't. I don't think what else would be included. I, I don't even remember my offer. Yeah, but obviously it doesn't. It doesn't make sense to. For you guys to pay for 497 and then like I give you a free transaction coordination that cost me 1500 bucks, that does not make sense. 
I hate to be that person, but I don't have any confirmation that email on my workshop ticket. Um, uh, ask, yeah, ask, hey, if you guys pay for the workshop, you guys should get an email from uh, Stripe shortly. Okay. Um, guys, if you guys have any questions, I'm going to hang out, hang around for the next 10 minutes because I have to go. I have to go feed my puppy. If you guys have any questions, please type in the side chat, whether it's about the email list or whether it's about whatever. I just wanted to clear up with everybody um, the list. So like I said, it's we're getting to from different county to county. So we're working on state by state, but prop stream has limitations on how many exports and all that stuff that you can pull. So if the, if you don't see your state in there right now, eventually it will be. So just keep the link and then, you know, you can keep checking back as we're working through the list. Uh, what kind of, let's see. Oh my gosh. Sorry. I, when you, when you're running a zoom for two hours and you have 300 people come, it's a lot of people that you got to entertain at any given time. Uh, Jay says, will you be adding California too? Yes. 100%. I'm looking for a primary residence for my parents in, uh, in California. So yes. Carrie says your puppy is so adorable. I have to run. Thanks again. Yeah. You're welcome guys. How does seller finance work with bull selling? Hey, nah, it, it's nothing different from wholesaling a step two deal. You just, you just, when you're wholesaling a seller finance deal, you just have to make, make sure the seller knows or, 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 the, or, the, or the lender knows who the buyer is that will be making the payments. Uh, how to save this? I don't see where you're making copies, blah, blah, blah. Hey, Andrew, there's different tabs at the bottom for different counties. When So you're probably only looking at Maricopa County for Arizona right now. All right. All right. Um... Sorry, I, I got distracted. I got for two hours my phone wasn't do not disturb and like everyone's calling me. Um I have to go good appointment. Good job. Thank you, Sherry. Um link for the 497. Guys, this is what the link works. This is this is how it should this is this is how the virtual event should work. Is you want to click on get your ticket now and you want to plug in your information. And then at the end, you will have uh, at you at the end you will have option to choose whether you want to do virtual or creative. Alex, did, did that did that answer your questions? Let me see, Alex. Alex, did that answer your questions? Yeah, yeah. Thank you guys. I, I mean, I just, you know, I just want, I, I'm driving right now and I just try to, uh, uh, just to make the payment for the 497 as soon as I find out a parking spot. But I really, really appreciate, man, you know, all your help, all your time and this very valuable information. Yeah. Thank you so much. All right. Um, Kenny says, did I miss a list giveaway? Yes, Kenny. Uh, we've been giving that list out like at least 80 times in the chat. <laughs> you you missed it big time, man. <laughs> uh okay. Um, all right. I think that's it. Um, talk to you. I'll see I'll see you guys soon. And virtual workshop is is kind of you know somewhat unlimited in terms of like how many people will show up. Uh, but physical physical workshop, it will definitely be um, it would definitely be paid. Uh, it would be, it would be limited. So thank you guys so much. I appreciate you guys. Thank you, Kevin. Thank you, Ryan. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you.
Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Really appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you, Oscar. Thank you, everybody, for, for trusting me. I, I appreciate everyone. And I'll see you guys at the workshop or in person or maybe on Instagram. So see you guys later. Thanks, man.